This is a tutorial for discrete time sim simulation, specifically looking at the delay flip-flop case. Now, the previous two tutorials looked at the delay system and the binary counter, which were considered mealy machines, where the current output could be a direct function of the current input. Now the delay flip-flop case is a little bit different. It's considered a more machine where there is an inherent delay that's built into the functions. So similar to the other two cases, this system is described either with a transition and output table or in transition output functions, where we'll have the current input, x of t, the current state, q of t, and then the prescribed next state q of t plus 1 and the current output y of t. Now similar to the other two cases, this table defines the four possible cases of combinations of input and state values that yield different next state and outputs. And similar to before, those four possible cases are zero input, zero state, one input, zero state, zero input, one state, and one input, one state. Now in this case, because it's represented as a Moore system, the next state, which is delta qx, is actually going to be exactly the same as our previous delay system. It's going to be just the value of x. So in this case, our next state is a just a direct copy of our input. So 0, 1, 0, 1. On the other hand, for a more machine, our output lambda is not a function of q and x, but it has to only be a function of q. So in this case, lambda of q is simply q. So we can directly copy in the current state and re return that as the output. 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, similar to before, these, this transition output table does describe these different cases. If there's a state 0, when it receives input 0, it should deliver an output 0, and the next state should be 0. Similar for the other input 1, state 0, output 0, next state 1, input 0, current state 1, output 0, next state 1. Oops, got that exactly backwards. Input 0, current state 1, current output 1, next state 0. And if the current input's 1 with the current state of 1, then the next state should also be 1, the current, or the current output's 1, and the next state is also 1. We can use this transition output table or these transition output functions to simulate different the results of different input trajectories. So we could look similar to the case in lecture of a couple of time steps, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. With a particular input trajectory, we can do this alternating on, off, on, off, on. So for that particular input trajectory and for a particular initial state, so let's say it starts in state 0, 0 1, 2, 3, four time steps. Now we can look to see if we have an input of 1, state of 0, next state is 1. Current input of 0, current state of 1, next state of 0. So we could follow these same rules to fill in the rest of these time steps. And in this case, the next state is just a copy of the previous input or the current input. So it looks is just a, a phase shift of the inputs is going to be the, the, the state trajectory. And then given the input trajectory and the state trajectory, we can compute the output trajectory. So y of t for different time steps, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, following these transition rules for an input of 1, state of 0, current output is 0. Right, so these outputs are going to identically mirror the current state.